Henry of Anjou. Henry of Anjou became Henry II, the first Plantagenet king of England. In 1154, with his lands in France, he became one of the most powerful rulers in Europe. Henry of Anjou was William the Conqueror's great-grandson. His mother, Matilda, was the widow of the Holy Roman Emperor Henry V, who had died in 1125. She was the daughter of Henry I of England, who named her his heir after his sons had died. Henry I also wanted to strengthen his hold on Normandy, so in 1128 he had Matilda marry Count Geoffrey in Anjou in France. In 1127, Henry had forced the English nobles to accept a woman as heir to the thrones of England and Normandy, but they were now furious that Matilda had married into a French royal house. When Henry died in 1135, the church nobility split and most threw their support behind Matilda's cousin, Stephen, as king. Civil war broke out in 1139, but in the end, Stephen remained king. He was later forced to make Matilda and Geoffrey's son, Henry of Anjou, his heir. When Henry of Anjou became Henry II of England at the age of 21, he inherited the French provinces of Anjou, Maine, and Tromaine from his father, and Normandy and Brittany from his mother. In 1152, he married Eleanor, the abandoned wife of the French king Louis VII, thus gaining Aquitaine. As a result of this, he ruled England and two-thirds of France. Henry and Becket Henry was an energetic ruler and traveled widely throughout his kingdom. He was well-educated and cultured, and his court in Actinon was in France. He was attended by many erudite scholars and troubadours, or minstrels. Henry brought his nobles firmly under his control, improved the laws of England, and forced the Scots and Welsh to obey him. When Norman nobles took control in Ireland, he subdued them and made himself king in Ireland in 1172. Henry chose capable ministers, among them Thomas A. Becket, who uh, became his chancellor, when Henry made him Archbishops of Canterbury, Becket became the, uh, came to assert the rights of the church. After years of quarrels, Henry is said to have exclaimed, Who will rid me of this turbulent priest? Four knights took him at his word and killed Becket. Henry later did penance for this crime. Henry's empire was a family possession, not a country, and he planned to divide it amongst his four sons. They squabbled over this, and then revolted against him. Two of them died, leaving Richard, the Lionheart, and John. Richard became the King of England in 1189, and was followed after his death in 1199 by John. Henry had, be had a great and creative king who had set up co English common law, but he died in 1189, feeling that his life had been a failure. After his death, his sons lost most of the French lands, and the new order that Henry had built in England soon disintegrated.